All right. So, uh, sorry about that. Um, I had to take a call. wasn't planned. So, I muted my phone, and that should remind me to always mute my phone uh, before I do this. Uh, so, let's pick continue. So, you see that though, there are, um, you know, a number of ways to specify your style. Um, you could do it in line here, um, where you put the style attribute and, you know, set some value here, um, whatever, right? Um, and you see uh, another way of doing it, which is internal, which you when you use a style tag and you embed inside a style element um, to style. Another way that um, you, you can do it, um, I, I did something while we were away, is uh, you can create a new file, let's call it style.css, and now, what I'll do is I'll copy, or cut rather, my, the style from that's internal, not inline. So inline is when you put it on the element itself. Internal is when you do it within this tag. So now we don't need this tag anymore, right? But our style is defined in this file out, out here, this external file. And the advantage of that now is that I can have one person continue working on the content and what the application is supposed to do and so on. And then I could have somebody who's into graphics and design and so on work on the look of the application. And there could be two separate persons or even if it's the same person, it just allows for better organization. The other advantage of having an external style sheet is that externalizing your style sheet is that now you can offer up different style sheets for different devices um, and easily change the look and feel of your application without having to modify this because if you just want to change the look and feel, this really doesn't need to change. This defines the look and feel. So, all right. So now that we have this external file, how do we use it? So let's go back here and we can't use the style. What we're going to use is the link um, element and you say rel and you say style sheets. Then you have to say um, href to, and if you remember the href, uh, we've used that before hypertext reference when we talk about the a tag, hypertext reference tag, um, the a tag, um, a, href was used to um, point to the thing you want to be able to click on. And then the other thing that you need to specify um, is uh, type, I believe. Yep, type. And then it says it's got the style sheet. So you can use the link tag to link to script, uh, which we're going to be covering next. Um, and so other things, so include in style sheet. So here we are, as you can see, when I finish linking to the style sheet, um, it works just as if, as if it was inline or internal. Um, but the advantage is that now my HTML is a little bit cleaner, my style sheet is external, and now I could go over here and modify the style without, um, so write a line, and you can see it still works exactly the same. Um, so I'm going to cut the video here. Um, it's going to be 15 minutes pretty soon, and I don't want to make this too long. Um, what I was going to say. Um, so we just saw me do it was use this command, well, this embedded edit command, uh, quick, quick edit command, where is it? Quick edit this. I use this quick edit command on the style to show which style is applied to this tag. And so that's something that this editor bracket supports. So if you want to know what style is being applied to something like this span, you can select on it and then, then do a quick edit and it shows you, hey, there's this um, span that's affecting it in this file. And you can quickly go over here and edit it. And it actually, you know, updates back in the file. So if I close this and I go over here, so there it is. So anyway, I end up showing you I edit the stuff, but I didn't really mean to. All right, so see you in the next video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you why is it that I think you shouldn't spend too much time learning about style, but you do need to know it, and you will do some styling on your, in your application. And so just knowing the, basic is, the basics is good enough, but I'll show you while using frameworks like Bootstrap and Angular Material, you're going to have great looking application without really doing any styling. And then only need to do some styling.
for things that they don't style or if you want to override the style. So, okay, see you in the next video. And hopefully you get to try this out and you don't find it too difficult. All right, bye.